Hello everyone, Wario Angel here and welcome back to the Wales campaign for Medieval 2 Total War. In the previous episode, we didn't do that much. It's the beginning episode, we just spent our time forming up an army and actually marching towards Cardiff, which in modern day is the capital of Wales. So as you can see here, my army is prepared. I believe we should have our siege equipment built. We so without further ado, we're Lord. going to start the episode with a, an assault on the capital. So we do outnumber the enemy two to one. They don't have a general unit, which is quite cool. They do have some longbowmen, some spear militia, armoured sergeants and armoured swordsmen, so we're going to have to be prepared for that. It's going to be slightly annoying to deal with because we are going to have to face them in the centre, in the courtyard, which does typically mean that... Just before we have a look. Which does typically mean Show no that we we'll have to wipe them Kill out them bit by bit. Which is always annoying, but we we'll, should have do okay, I think. We do have troops specially prepared to deal with armoured troops, so that's the halberdmen. And we do have plenty of equipment, including the catapults in that, so hopefully we'll be able to knock down a few walls and get a few access ways into the city, apart from the siege equipment I've already got. So, without further ado, we're going to just start things off straight away. There's Prince Daviv, I believe. Is it Daviv or David? I can't remember now. Thing. Anyway, he is here, so yeah, here we are, the assault. I decided that instead of actually trying to do what I like, I sometimes like to do and attack different portions, it might be better given the enemy just to try and um, have a main focus. But I will have a sort of side tactic, hopefully be able to sneak in and do some damage in the middle. So we're going to just put one of these, and what we'll do, we'll put, come over here, watch as the frame rate is dropping for some because of the amount of people I seem to have. We'll have the Grant Raiders and we'll put a unit of spearmen over here. Just try and help them, like attack, draw the enemy's attention to the side here. We'll also put storms and skirmishes. Yeah, we'll put another unit of Grant Raiders. These guys can just climb up onto the wall then and hopefully be able to draw their attention a bit. We'll put a unit of archers here as well, just to provide some support. And the rest of the army will attack from the front. So Banner Ram's already in position, we're just going to put these guys in loose formation. In fact, it's a good idea usually to put all your troops that are thing in loose formation, just in case, you never know. So we're gonna, what we're gonna do? We're gonna put an army unit here. We're gonna put this unit on the side here, just in case. And we do have them over there. Our archers. I'll tell you what. Let's move another unit of archers over here to support. We'll have two units then, ready to sort of do some damage. I don't expect too much from them, but every little bit is going to help. Let's see. Catapults. We're gonna put you guys a little bit further back. Uh, what I'm planning to do, I'll actually try to attack the walls here. It's just so we can actually see about knocking some of them down and be able to put in new avenues to attack. Should be fairly easy to do. I don't expect that much damage, but every little bit's going to help. Let's put some flame ammo on just to help out as well. So with that, let's see. We don't want that one. We want this one. Nor that one. We want these three units. You guys can deploy straight up along here. The cavalry will stay back, just so we can make sure that things are okay. And we'll put the units of spearmen. Let's see if you want, isn't it? Yes, I believe so. Apart from the troops that are going to be attacking, we'll put these guys in reserve in the back here, just to be prepared. So with that, we'll start the battle. Okay, so what I am going to do first of all, I am going to pause it and see about issuing orders. I think it's only fair at the beginning of the battle to be able to do this because you would be able to say as the attacker, right, we want my troops, you're going to be attacking this bit, you're going to attack that bit, rather than, you know, try and rush for your turn to do it. That's my excuse anyway, I'm keeping to it. So we'll have these guys attack here and here. The catapults then are going to attack this corner of the wall over here. Could actually attack down here, but no, we'll attack that side. Hopefully we'll do some damage against the units at the top as well. Over to this side, we'll have you guys just casually attack as many different spots to other wall as possible. And we'll bring the archer units here just to help. 
Let's put you guys in loose formation as well. Because, well, yeah, the long bowmen up here. So we'll put you guys just here. No, let's put you guys just across here. And you guys can run over as well. Okay, let's head back over to you guys. Like I said, I want these guys to try and help out a little bit as well. So we'll put these ones straight across here. And we'll just get them to run into position as well. Everyone else will go. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's start the battle. We are taking some severe missile fire, but that's okay. The enemy has a lot of longbowmen, which is going to do some damage. But hopefully my melee troops are going to be able to do the job. We are taking some more, especially from this unit of Grand Raiders. They are only light cavalry, infantry. Light like cavalry without the horses. <laughs> What does that mean? No, they are taking a few hits, aren't they? But that's okay. If we can get the, my troops onto the wall, that will be helpful. I'll tell you what, help them out a little bit. You guys can focus over there. And you guys can focus over on um, here. Already we're going to have troop. Okay, let's do this. Okay, Spearman. Where's my... No, in fact, let's use the our lovely horseman. You guys can get over to here, this position ready. We're send them straight through the wall there. If we can do enough damage to them. Alright, what we've got marching over here? Armoured Sergeant Spearman. Okay, that might not be the better way to do things. Our men have reached the gate with the battering ram. The ladders are get now in... Here. Our siege towers have reached the walls. Now the butcher's work begins. Alright, so what we've got behind here, we've got armoured swordsmen, so heavy infantry is going to be coming in to stop the break in the wall. That is slightly annoying, but we'll be okay. Our men have reached the walls with their ladders! Oh, come on. 90%. Come on, you can do this. Alright, oh, you guys actually marching? No, you're not. You're just sitting up here, right? Our men have done well! Climb the up gates there. have fallen! The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain okay, true and steadfast, victory get, will be ours. Let's get our heavy infantry. Ch Ch no, these are spear militia right here. Damn it. I was hoping to try and do a little bit more thing with them. Okay. My Grant Raiders charging it against the spear militia. Right. As in ancient Jericho, the walls fall before the righteous. Okay, Our soldiers guys. have proved their work today. The enemy's walls belong to us Charge now. Food to there. Okay, catapults. See if we can just do some damage against their towers or something like that. Right. I'll tell you what. My heavy cavalry units. See if we can get you charging through the middle here. Might as well take advantage and get our troops into the center as quickly as we can. Right. Okay, you guys might as well just try and make it onto the walls. Right. That's so annoying. Everyone, everyone is up on the managed thing, and everyone, all the enemies, running away. How annoying! So, right, you guys charge across here and deal with those longbowmen. Even the ones that haven't made it onto the walls. Okay, you guys can make your way down. Likewise, you guys can make your way down. We'll put you guys over here. Ready to assault. Alright. Where's my Taily going? But just, uh, I don't know if I mentioned the previous episode. Taily is actually Welsh for family. So, and it just random things. So this would be all your important people, like your, um... Ah, this is going to be a bit annoying, but about to charge in spearmen. Do I really want to do that? Do that. Not really. Okay, you guys can get down. So get down onto there and help up against the spear militia, because it looks like my Grand Raider's about to lose. You guys, come back over here and see if you can attack them, just to help them out. Spear Militia come over here and do some damage against them. Gwent Raiders charge down here against the enemy. Over here. 
the Grand Vaders are doing some damage against these long bowmen, so that's been fine. Apparently we can't just march straight through the center bit, we need to go elsewhere, another way it seems. Alright, archer units. Get you, let's get you guys up into the center as well to help out. This should now push it into our favor. Yes, we go. We've managed to break them. Excellent, excellent. Alright, you guys are wavering, but you're not actually breaking. That is annoying me. Uh, next, yeah, we've got spin militia marching through here, and that. Okay. What I'm going to do with my cavalry units, I'm going to bring them over here so we can attack the enemy from the rear. We also should be able to take out all these lovely mailed knights, spear militia, and this like as well. I think we'll probably just be here just in time. Alright, be prepared to receive the enemy charge. Alright. Yes, we need you guys to come down here, so I'll go and assault them. Okay, what else we got? Spearmen sitting around out here, we don't really, we want them in the build. Capital, so let's do that. Speed up time a little bit as well, if all possible. Oops, too quickly, too slow even. Let's see if we can get my troops involved in this battle. Alright. Spear militia longbowmen. How's my cavalry getting on? Okay, we are doing some major damage to their main troops there. Okay, spearmen, you guys can get into the castle. I don't get why they're just standing around. It's not like I'm ordering them to do so. Alright, you guys march in here as well if all possible. We'd like to be able to get them involved in attacking that middle center. Good tidings. The enemy general lies dead. There we go. The That's the news you want to hear. Enemy general dead. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. You guys now can chase down these longbowmen. And we now want them to get them into position as well. Just here. General, you can go and wipe them out. Alright, Spearman, that's a problem. So you guys, see if you can attack them. We need more troops coming in to support, so you guys can come over here and come and help. Grant Vaders, come over here and attack as well. What's the situation like over here? You guys get into tight formation. It looks like we're going to have to break through that center somehow in order to uh, attack those troops from the rear. So what I'm going to do, we do have a general's bodyguard and that is lined up. So what we will do, I uh, will charge straight into the spear militia. Like, can the we enemy are badly guys? bloodied. They have lost half their men. Without taking many casualties. Yeah, right. What we're going to do, we're going to risk this by charging straight past that these units of spearmen here. And we're going to try and attack the heavy armed units from the rear, so we are taking quite a few casualties there. It's not what I wanted to see. Okay, let's see if we can charge in. No, 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 don't wake, don't wake. Phew. Okay, we've routed, we've routed the armoured spear sergeants. Excellent. Okay, we want you guys now to come in and help against these now here. Alright. You need to head forward now and towards them. Likewise, you guys need to head forward. We need to kill off as many of these units as possible. I don't particularly want them to stand around and uh, help the fact that we're going to have a big problem in the center. And you guys charge into them. You guys are going to charge into the rear here. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Right, let's get all your men uh, into the center here to help out. Okay, 
general, we're gonna get you back. anyone who's not fighting you guys so many troops just standing around not doing bugger all okay i'll tell you what where's the grand raiders spearmen did we manage to kill off all of the enemy's heavy swordsmen uh, looks like we did Surprisingly. okay you guys can just charge straight in here needs to charge in. At this point really annoyingly it's just a slog. We have to basically we can bring our cavalry out every so often into uh, 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 cycle char attacks. Cycle charges that's the word. But otherwise really it's just a slog and that's like I've said before in Medieval 2 it does annoy me when it comes to doing these sort of battles because you are basically just uh, fighting it out. The enemy cannot run away and retreat unless you can really get a lot of troops in. So it's just basically stand around and then watch as we get that attack again and again and again and eventually we just have to hope we can kill them all before they actually uh, quickly or quickly you know that it just annoys me tell you what let's help out a bit let's just go faster we will win this it's just me it's just the fact that we have to sit through here and then and watch as our men slaughter them all guys can come back out again. Is there any one of my troops that isn't attacking? My lord. Last! Our men no longer command the city! See, even if they just have a couple of men left in the center, even though you would think in real life it'd be like, right, it's pretty clear that we're gonna win this. It doesn't work like that. No, 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 no. How much of the enemies left? 99%. So we lost a quarter, just under a quarter of our army. So that's about 600 men attacking this place. But in return, we've managed to wipe out now everyone. So we've the now won. The enemy army flees the field. All of battle. Christendom will be awed by the victory we have that's won here today. That's not bad. Right. Let's just check the listings and see what we've got. So <laughs> I generally only killed 12 people. The Tailey, my heavily armored horsemen, only got killed 28. The archers killed more than them. That's embarrassing. The like Grand Raiders here and these units are the heroes. 147, 137 each. Oh, my general's bodyguard has taken over 200 casualties. So that those men managed to do quite a bit, to be fair. We've managed to heal up some men as well, which is pretty nice. Especially from this Grant, unit of Grand Raiders. We've now got 35 people healed up. That's good. Okay. Ah. And William Wallace, I have brought you to the revel. Now dance if you can. Alright, this time around we are just have going to execute Lord. them. I made my mistake before, but I actually allowed them to continue. And I end up I think I might have had to deal with some of those troops again. Us, so there we go. We are the just gonna go ahead though and occupy it. Take the spoils of war! Alright. So let me see what we need to do. First of all we need to repair the damage we've done. I think that part of it's like the town guard is because of the fact that I let my catapults keep attacking. So unfortunately we lost troops because of that. Cardiff is a large town so we're not going to be able to focus too much on like uh, military buildings. We will see about getting instead better stuff going on. We do need... we've got a church. Do I need to... do I need to destroy this church? Like technically because of the fact that we are the like, it's no different, really, now. I will destroy it. I mean, it's no different, really, now. I think mean, there's five or someone doing it, you know? But I don't know how it exactly works. Does it work? In fact, if anyone knows in the comments, please let me know. If I keep the church of an occupied city, does that keep name convert the population to my culture? Or does it keep doing it for the enemy's culture, or the original owners? So I have to basically knock it down and do it. Just like in uh, traditional Medieval 2, where if you captured, for example, a um, if you're Christian and you capture an Orthodox Christian's uh, church, 
do you st does it gain Catholic church, you know, faith, or does it get the Orthodox faith? Thing I believe in that case is the Orthodox faith. But does it work like that in Britannia, or does it work that as long as you're the one occupying it, it will convert it over to your culture? Because it doesn't say anything there about it, so I imagine it's going to be, you know, whatever your culture is. We're actually really high as well, so we should be able to get some decent troops pretty quickly. We can actually get access as well to these billmen. That's interesting. Because we're still a bit English in the area, we can actually get these blue hooks. So it, they're okay for defense, but they are actually got a really good attack, so that could be something to bear in mind. Hmm. Unrest, insurgents, distance to the capital, and that's all that. That's okay. Uh, let me see. We do need to retrain some of my troops, and particularly like these ones. Sire. What we'll do is let's mark Meldon. This gives me men the opportunity to get some troops. Right. What we'll do, we'll march you, you guys down here. I want to keep these because Sire. they do have some good experience. We do just have to bear in mind we do Was have. Was that your best shot? We do have an, an English army within a short range. So what we'll do, we'll march you guys By back your up command. here. We can go no further today, sir. Right. Where can I build? Where was it that I was able to build Taylor as well? Thinking about it. We got uh, Marafal's horsemen, Rent Raiders, peasants, Halloween. Was it up here that I can get Taylor? Because I'm thinking about need the needing to actually um, ch uh, retrain them. Yeah, Carnarvon. Ah, that bugs me. I don't think if I, I think in uh, today's t today we spell Carnarvon C A E R N A F O N. It's R F O N, and not with the V. That's a think of an older way of spelling it. Yes. Not that I'm complaining, I guess. It's just one of those things. Right. Rush militia. Sire. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that arrangement. We do have Captain Paul you here that's bringing in some lead. reinforcements, but we dealt with them. I'll keep my money for now. There's nothing. We, everything is building. That's what Siege Works is almost done in Carnarvon. Oh, let's improve this. The barracks, the archery range. Let's get a leather tanner just so we can get better. Actually, hang on. Yeah, there's a um, castle. Yeah, let's get a leather tanner so we can get better equipment for our troops. Check out the pop ups. Prince Davith is used to winning first, so he gets a level of dread. And he's also fair in battle, which gives him a level of chivalry. Interesting. Let's see. Fire of blood, feels appreciated, disrespects prisoners, winning first, fair rule, and a soft judge. He actually has a negative effect on public order because of the fact that he's quite soft, he's forgiven. Fair enough. Right. Okay, well while we're doing this, it also gives me an opportunity to share the random Welsh fact of the d the episode. I thought I'd try and do something like this, just because Wales isn't that well known, so I thought I'd just do some interesting hints and, you know, and facts in that. So number one, today's one is, of course, the national language of Wales is actually Welsh, as funny enough. But it's not the only country in the world that speaks Welsh, believe it or not. And... I mean, Engl there are like obviously people in England and that that can speak Welsh because they're from or their families from here and that, but there are other places as well. In Argentina, for example, in South America, the Chubut province is actually home to Welsh settlers and they have been since they settled in the nineteenth century. So apparently, they have five thousand Welsh speakers in the certain regions, and up to fifty thousand of them can claim to be of Welsh descent. I'm just reading it because I remember hearing about it and I couldn't remember where it was, so I've got it down here. And apparently the uh, South American towns and villages of these provinces uh, still recite Welsh po poetry at the Estedford, which is like a big cultural festival. And it serves Welsh dishes such as the Barabrif, which is like a uh, fruitcake with spice in it, as part of their traditional diet. Even in Canada, my Canadian viewers watching this, apparently uh, there are... Was it thanks to the Caribou Gold Rush in the late 1800s? Saw quite a few people appear in British Columbia, and in 1902, many Patagonian settlers emigrated north. And your posts, the enemy fleet is on. You have us. the Welsh town in Hwelin near Bangor. 
in Saskatchewan was found by the Canadian government, who so came up from Patagonia. So those speakers still, so the country still celebrates apparently St. David's Day and hosts several traditional Welsh festivals, including Gomava Ganu and Stedvod. So yeah, just some random facts that there are other places in the world that speak Welsh, and not just us. Oh, this ain't good. We have, um, I just got distracted reading about this. Okay, so we're going to have to fight this. Unfortunately, we're going to lose. We are outnumbered three to one. Sire, oh, we can we retreat should disengage. At least. The enemy shows no mercy. That's okay. We can actually land out. We can go no oh. further this time, sire. Sire, okay. the enemy is engaging our fleet. Defeated again. <laughs> Tomorrow's journey planned out, sire. That goes my different now. Okay. So we've got two large armies now on our borders. We got that one you can just see at the bottom of the screen, and this one marching towards Montgomery. We'll have to be prepared for that. And it's got troops it seems heading up towards the north. This could be a little bit problematic. It's okay though, we should be prepared to deal with this. Uh, what is this? A candidate for adoption. For King Coelin the Honorable, we've got Yeyan of uh, Bukhenyog. Huh. He's a proven commander and a fair fighter, quite a young age. I'm pretty happy to adopt him into the family. We also have a new mission. We have to send an emissary up to Scotland. That's pretty fine. We're already on our way up there anyway. Where, in fact, though, where is... Where to, oh, there is. sire? So, apparently there's a Scottish settlement just here. Sire. So we should be able to march up the orphan here to talk to them about sire. that. Oh, so we've got the Welsh make their stand. <laughs> so it seems that like King Llewellyn's stand against the English is having a profound effect on the people of Wales. With each English border town, the mighty Welsh army captures under Llewellyn's rule. The more citizens are prepared to take up arms and join the fight. One, ha one hardy Welsh militia has formed to the west of Montgomery and another to the north of Carnarvon. Oh. So we actually gain some free units, it seems. Like, well, we're here. Orders. Okay, so we've got a free Welsh army. We've got Mavani of Spearmen, we've got Welsh Militia, the Helven Archers, and we've got Skirmishers as well. We've put those straight into Montgomery in order to be able to boist the capital because it looks like we're going to be attacked by Brian Flower. What a bloody name is that? Brian Flower. Talk about a name that actually inspires fear in your foes. Who's, who's that thing? Oh, that's Lord Flower. <laughs> Sire. And what have we got up here? We've got Welsh Militia and Hillwind as well. We can put see about putting these guys maybe in the fort that we already got here. I should hopefully defend against any attacks. Orders. We've got coming up this way, so we'll do that. And you know what, guys? I'm going to have to end the episode here, actually. I think it's just under 30 minutes. But I'm kind of a little bit busy today, so we're going to have to just rush through things, get it up for this evening. But I hope you enjoyed the battle, nevertheless. We've managed to capture an important city now in the form of Cardiff. And from there then, we could actually be fairly sneaky My Lord. and eventually be marching down towards Gloucester. So we can actually start striking out now into England, now that we've secured our Welsh borders. It's just a case then we've got a huge army here I led by the Great to Townsend to you, that we have to be scum. prepared to deal with. We've got this other large army by Flower, and Captain Philip has Come got a small little me, force up near coward. Chester, so we'll have to be prepared for those. But we'll sort those out, we'll train some more troops, and we'll get ready for the next episode. But until then, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you next time, guys. Take care now.